Walker now on the mind of Robert Smith. All right, what a title. Oh, another great ball. Robert Smith is making these lanes look stupid easy. And it's not because they are, it's because of his talent. He's just going to post just another one of many shots. The ball gets out to about the third board. See you later. At this level, when you get to feeling really good about your swing, it really helps you mentally, and it makes you believe in yourself. It makes you believe that you can't be beat by anyone. Sugar comes in high again, little through the nose ball, leaves three. And the five bagger to begin this final match for Smith may be insurmountable with a hot start. And we said it uh, at the top of the championship recap, it looked like Mike Machuga was losing his ball reaction, and in fact, he has. He doesn't have a strike through five frames, Dave Ryan, and right now he's lost, he's fishing. Open frame in the third, really hurting his chances. Picks up the three pins there for a mark, and this is fifth frame. And without question, flamethrower Robert Smith is in the driver's seat. Right now, Robert Smith has a possible 300. He's perfect through five. Mike Machuga is shooting 182. If that was me sitting in Robert Smith's seat, I would be thinking about full exemption, another title, how loose my swing's going to be for the rest of the year. Unless Mike Machuga can start doing more of that. Lush in the pocket for Machuga, the best ball he's had without question in this championship round with Smith. Women's Pro Billiards coming your way next here on ESPN. As soon as we finish up our live coverage, opening day from Greater Omaha. Thunder Bowl has seen some thunder from the right arm of Robert Smith all day long. He has been outstanding, looking for a six batter, trying to continue perfection. Ten pin, oh, is solid. And it's just amazing that one pin can stand when that ball's just crowbarring into the pocket. Jessica's here rooting on her boyfriend. Watch how fast the six pin goes around the 10. That was slow-mo, and that looked like real speed. All right. Oh, no. Oh. Misses Boy, the 10 pin you there. Feed any faster. Last night. Open he, frame. Excuse me, Dave. Last night. In his match against Doug Kent, he missed two single pin spares that actually cost him games. He went to seven games with Doug Kent before finally beating him. But it did cost him two wins. Machuga does have a strike. However, he still has a commanding 45 pin lead. Just put that behind you and get back to doing what you do best. Five strikes, strikes to begin this final match on lane 23. He's got another. He, that ball just split the eight and the, and the nine in half. God forbid. God, your spare game has been crap lately. Well, God. yeah, his spare game has, but when he throw, when he's throwing as many strikes as he as he has, he doesn't really need to shoot a whole lot of spares. So he's upset about the open frame in the sixth. He's got a big lead now. 45 pins, Machuga can cut it to 35 with a strike here in the seventh. He'll need a lot of that, Randy. Be an incredible rally in this final match. Looking for his first ever title. Chance at a Brooklyn strike, crossing over the head pin and leaves the 6-10. Mike Machuga moves in front of the ball return to get more angle through the front part of the lane. Still doesn't get the ball to the pocket. And what a lonely place it is for Mike Machuga being where he's at now. No ball reaction going, to get, going up against uh, Robert Smith and all that power. It's kind of scary. Picks up a 6-10. Not happy, certainly, with his effort in this final match. He's bowled so well to get here. He had a big party plan with friends at Nebraska and Lincoln on the campus if he had won this match today and won the title. Still has got a lot to celebrate. I mean, it's just so tough to win out here. Not only do you have to be good, but you have to catch breaks. I mean, you have to be very fortunate. And then all you have to do after that is just beat the greatest bowlers in the world, period. Solid 10 pin, not a bad ball.
Despite the open frame in the six, Smith's still in great shape. Right. Ten pin for Matuga. Well, this next frame shouldn't take very long with Robert Smith's ball going down the lane at about 22 miles an hour and all the strikes that he strikes. <laughs> it's like he's in fast motion, everybody else is in slow motion. At least today. He is clearly en route to his fifth career championship after wins over Michael Haugen Jr., Pete Weber, and Doug Kent in match play here in Omaha. That's the seven rounds of 32, 16, and 8. Yeah. Oh, oh. The reason. <laughs> the pit kid flying out of the pit. It's in front of the sweep. The fans what? on the sidelines. Wow. The fans on the sidelines are wearing safety helmets. But take a look at the pins. Watch what this ball does to them. What a great reaction. 56 pin lead now. Clearly in cruise control. Hopes for three straight strikes and a 66 pin lead with it. Worked very hard in the offseason. Talked about the new look. Leslie, in her conversation with Robert, spoke about his health. That came in a little bit high. The back feels much better. Hurt himself weightlifting last year. This is a healthy Robert Smith. If this is the person we're going to see Randy on tour this year, win for a treat. You're right, Dave, and he's healthy mentally as well. I mean, he feels much better about what he's doing. Worked with Chris Schlimmer in the offseason to get his game right, and when he got his game right, he got his head right. Oh, much easier. And that is it. Robert Smith has taken opening day by storm.